oh my gosh i'm stuck in chocolate chips but why do her hands look like that they look like fish sticks oh uh, i just went in the ground <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to another Star Stable video and this week Star Stable released the Midsummer Festival but I'm not going to be doing that today because it was kind of crazy and it was very laggy today and I decided that I would just do it off camera but if you guys are that interested in me doing this Midsummer Festival quests you can go ahead and go back to last year's video that I made on the Midsummer Festival. Anyways, since I won't be doing the Midsummer Festival this week, I decided to do a training video since I haven't in a very long time. I decided to ask you guys this on my Instagram and get some questions and topics that I should talk about in this video and I'm not the first person to do this. I know that Violet Flower Garden does it in every one of her training videos but it looked super fun so I decided to do that for today's training video. If you want to be part of stuff like this in the future or get updates and sneak peeks make sure to follow my Instagram and I'll leave a link in the description below and it would really help me out to have more followers on there so go right ahead and head down to the description and follow me on there so i guess we'll just get straight into training this is actually not the horse that i'm training today i was training her earlier today but i'm not going to be training her in this video i think i want to train one of my american corridor horses i can either train zena or paris paris already has tack on so i think we're gonna train her oh my goodness maya what is she doing why do her hands look like that they look like fish sticks okay so this is paris my american quarter horse i only have two american quarter horses but i wanted to save my money for a video that i'll be making on the english thoroughbreds that are coming out next week oh gosh oh gosh oh my gosh i'm stuck in chocolate chips but this is not how i want to spend this video okay i guess we're gonna start with the manor races and i only have one left because I already started training another horse today, like I said. Okay, let's get into the replies. What's it like being a popular creator? Okay, well, I can't really answer this question because I am not a popular creator, but I do enjoy creating videos for the fans that I do have. Speaking of fans, I'm almost to 200 subscribers, which is exciting. And I wanna thank you guys for getting me here so far. And I'm excited to reach that milestone because I remember when I was just at 20 subscribers it was actually my channel anniversary in april but i forgot about it that doesn't really answer your question but that's all i have to say because i'm not really a popular creator okay i know this is weird but i don't know if you guys have noticed but the american quarter horse when it immediately stops it slides so far compared to all of the other star stable horses the American Quarter Horse Instant Stop is kind of more realistic than a lot of the other Star Stable horses out there. It just kind of annoys me how you slide so far when you're just trying to stop quickly. What is your favorite part about making a video? My favorite part is definitely filming. I really love to film videos. It's so fun and I guess my least favorite part is editing because those are m the main two parts of making a video. I guess if you're counting like once the video is uploaded and replying to comments and stuff because I really do like to reply to comments that you guys leave me. I would say that is actually my favorite part of making a video if you're including that in this question. So if you guys want to reply to me, you can comment down below and it will make my day. Oh my gosh, Paris, stop. Oh, uh. I just went in the ground. I think it's because Paris's butt is too big for me to see around. If you guys end up enjoying this training video, then make sure to let me know because I really like to hear your guys' feedback. Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh my goodness. No. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Clearly, I can't read and do a race at the same time what is your favorite horse that you own well that changes every once in a while it never stays the same but right now i'd say azula is my favorite horse that i own i love her so much okay what are your favorite parts of being a youtube i think they meant youtuber um i love um watching my channel grow 
because like I said earlier, I remember when I was just at 20 subscribers and now I'm at almost 200 and I know that's not very big, but that's a big milestone for me. I feel like I've come so far ever since those first few subscribers and I also like replying to your guys' comments. I also like to see like the people that always come back after watching one of my videos and then they come back and they still choose to watch another video of mine. All right, we're just going to check off one at a time. It always messes me up because in this race you can turn, oh my gosh, see? Do you see what I mean? Okay, this race is so bad. Hello? Who just opened the door? I thought it was a good thing that Star Stable changed the turning in these races, but it just messes me up so bad. Oh my gosh, I just realized I was focusing so hard that I didn't even read any replies. What is your opinion on dressage and western riding? So they chose one thing from English and then they chose just overall western riding. I ride western in real life. Um, I just do western pleasure. So I really enjoy western. I've also ridden English before though. I don't know which one I prefer because I re I like both, but in Star Stable, I think SSO did a good job with the Western- oh gosh. I think SSO did a good job with the Western aspect of the game. I really like Starshine Ranch, but I also like dressage. I'm currently in a dressage club, but I think Star Stable should pay more attention to dressage in the game because we don't have any dressage simulations yet, like any races or anything. The players pretty much created it themselves. Oh my gosh, there's a lost animal. Should I lead it back? You know what? It's going to give me lots of XP, so uh, why is it going through trees? I'm really confused. Do I have to hurt it? Because I don't know how to do that. Oh, good, good. Go, go on, keep going. Good, oh my goodness. Okay, well now I know why the cow was drowning itself because I let it into the water. I didn't know I was supposed to hurt it. Oh, I did it! Okay, sorry, that was really, um, enthusiastic. What recording equipment do you use? Okay, so I'm just gonna tell you my whole Star Stable gaming equipment, the recording stuff, the gaming stuff, anything. So I use an ASIO LED keyboard. It has LED lights on it, and I'll put a picture right now in case you're interested. But the brand is ASIO, and I really like it because it it's like a typewriter and has circular keys and it just makes me happy inside so yeah i really love my keyboard my keyboard is my favorite thing on my desk and i love it and then i have my mouse my mouse is msi brand and it's the clutch gm10 mouse so basically it's the clutch gaming mouse 10 if you guys want me to translate that for you it also has a little glowing dragon on it and i think um, that's really cool. I use a Fafine Technology microphone. I really like it. It's a stand-up microphone. And yeah, it's a pretty good quality microphone, as you can hear right now. I think it's pretty good. And then for recording and editing, I use Wondershare Filmora, the latest version. I update it whenever a later version comes out. I do use the paid version, though, because it gives you so... Oh, it gives you so many good features if you use the paid version. I'm gonna go to Jarlaheim now because that's one of the only places that I haven't done the races at yet. It's almost two o'clock and I haven't had lunch yet. All right, so the next reply we have, it says, talk about your SSO and YouTube journey so far. I started playing Star Stable back in about 2015, 2016. I really liked to do role plays because me and my sister Mia Mapleflower started playing Star Stable together and so we do role plays together and I also joined a elite dressage club similar to the one that I'm in right now and I met some really good Star Stable friends on there so that club will always be in my good memories because it was such a good club and that was one of my first clubs i had ever joined and then once i got to the point where i realized you couldn't get so far without being a star rider 
I was telling my mom about the game and she decided that she would get me the monthly Star Rider and I was so excited I remember and oh gosh, oh gosh. Hello? Okay, um. Okay, bye. bye. And so we were paying for monthly Star Rider for who knows how long. And then once my mom realized that I really loved this game and I never actually stopped playing it and I never let her not pay for monthly, she finally got me and my younger sister lifetime for Christmas of 2019. Okay, my smoothie's here, hold on. Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay, so back on topic. On April 29th, 2018, I decided to create a YouTube channel because I was obsessed with this game and I decided that I wanted to share my journey on this game with other people. I was always watching Star Stable YouTubers and I thought it would be so fun to just be like, hey, hey guys, welcome to my channel. And I remember I documented every milestone and I remember getting to 100 subscribers and I was like, triple digits, this is crazy. And now I'm almost to 200 subscribers and I'm so, so excited for that. So I guess that's kind of like my YouTube journey. There's nothing really much to talk about. And then it's kind of funny. Last year, I went through a slime phase. I still love slime and I still make it all the time, but I went through a big phase that year in 2019 and I decided that I would turn my channel into a slime channel and that was a horrible idea. Didn't work out, made one video didn't work out and i'm glad that i changed it back to star stable so yeah that's the only like that's the only big twist and turn in my youtube journey okay i saved the best for last talk about the new english thoroughbreds i knew i was gonna get this in my last video i was talking about the english thoroughbreds at the end of it and i was so excited but i didn't really pay much attention to the trailer i was just like oh my gosh what updated english thoroughbreds wow but now after seeing some of the comments on that video and watching it more I've changed my opinion on them. Oh my gosh, my smoothie's leaking. So I've noticed that Star Stable released them super close to the release of the seahorses. Okay, I'm at Veildale now because I finished the the races in Jarlheim. So basically, I've realized that the Star Stable didn't take very long on these horses and they look very rushed. I feel like the coats don't look very detailed. I am all judging this all from the trailers, so my opinion could completely change by the time they actually come out next week. So don't hit on me right now. I don't know. I feel like they didn't put very much effort into making the coat super detailed like they may not be all the way done but i feel like they should have been more detailed before they showed the trailer so i don't really know if i'm super excited about them and i don't know if i'll buy very many probably just one and i just feel like some of the coats looked almost not blurry but just not detailed You've made it to the end of this video. Don't forget to go follow my Instagram in the description below. If you guys want me to give you a shout out in next week's video for making it to the end of this video, make sure to comment down below PARIS in all caps and I'll give you a shout out in my next video for making it to the end. And I'll see you guys next week with the new English Thoroughbreds. Bye!